Dear students, today we are going to study about proteins. There are several macromolecules, carbohydrate, proteins, nucleic acid, etc. But proteins are the most diverse of all macromolecules. They make up two-thirds of the total dry mass of a cell. Gerardus Johans Mulder. Gerardus Johans Mulder. First to coin the term protein. The term protein is derived from a Greek word proteus. That means first rank. Amino acids are building blocks of proteins. Naturally, there are about 20 different types of amino acids present in the cell. The basic skeleton of all amino acids contain of a carbon, which is linked to a basic amino group NH2 and acidic group COOH, a hydrogen atom H, and a side chain R group. That is given in the figure 8.18. 8.18 .18 shows the structure of basic amino acid. The amino acid is both an acid and a base, so it is called amphoteric. Amino acid, because amino acids behave as sweeter ion or dipolar ion. Sweeter ion is a molecule containing one or more functional groups of which at least one has a positive electrical charge and the other has a negative electrical charge. Here, the net charge of the entire molecule is zero. The pH at which sweeter ions are formed, that is called isoelectric point. What is isoelectric point? It is a particular pH at which sweeter ions are formed in the amino acid. Figure 8.19 shows the structure of amino acid with sweeter ion. Now we are going to see the classification of amino acids. Based on the R group of amino acids, amino acids are classified into acidic amino acid, basic amino acid, polar amino acid, and non-polar amino acid. That also given in the figure 8.20b. That shows the structure and the classification of different types of amino acids. When the amino group of one amino acid reacts with carboxyl group of another amino acid, a bond is formed between them that is called peptide bond. Figure 8.20a shows the formation of peptide bond in between the two amino acids. Peptide is of two types, dipeptide and polypeptide. Dipeptide is formed when two amino acids react together with the loss of water. Peptides are formed when several long strings of amino acids are linked with each other. Insulin considered as the first protein that was first sequenced by Fred Sanger in the year 1957. 
figure 8.21 shows the first protein insulin sequenced by Fred Sanger. So that is the classification of amino acids.